Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're starting a new game tonight. This is Receiver 2. Uh, we spent Monday night, a real, like, solid good go of things on Monday night, playing Receiver 1. Uh, that was the uh, seven-day FPS game jam game by Wolfire Games. Now this is the follow-up, the, uh, the the fully-fledged, fully-polished version, uh, Receiver 2. Uh, looking forward to a good time with this one. I have a feeling this is going to go more than one night because uh, I think there's an actual story and a whole bunch of other things that we can do here uh, besides getting zapped and or shot by robots. Hey, my God, how you doing? Good to see you. So let's, uh, let's get in here. Let's get in here and play some Receiver 2. I think I've got the audio balanced correctly. Um, while I was testing it a bit, either last night or the night before, uh, I... Some of the gunshot sounds are still extremely loud, uh, no matter how much I configure the thing, so, uh, sound warning, there's likely going to be many loud noises. Uh, many, many loud noises. Um, but we'll do our best. We'll do our best. If it gets, like, supremely, like, ear-splittingly loud, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll try to do something else with it. But alright. Okay, so already, it, like, look at the graphics. The graphics are much better. Oh, hey, what the hell? Uh... That's interesting. Our reflection in the window is a fucking range target. <laughs> uh, excuse me? <laughs> we don't even get, like, an actual player model? We get a range target, huh? Okay, well, that's, um, that's, that doesn't bode well. Alright, sneak past the kill drone, avoid this blue light. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Good sneaking. Good sneaking. Good sneaking. Really good sneaking. Uh, so I think at least in the beginning here, uh, it starts it off us off on a, a pretty linear path. So we're gonna start in this you know fancy, pretty comfortable looking room, honestly. So uh, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Things are things are kind of stupid. Oh, we can uh, interact with this, huh? Turn off some lights. Save power. It's important to save power. Hey, ooh, now it's kind of spooky. All right. Avoid its blue light. All right, let's go. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Can we interact with the turret itself? We can. Uh. Oh, we can just disable it by fucking around with it without a weapon. Hey, that's good info to have. That looks pretty much the. Yeah, so that's a little bit more polished up, but that pretty much looks like the same turret model from the Seaver one. I can appreciate that. You know, a little bit of asset reuse is is okay. Um the bathroom let's uh let's get on out of here this, you know, this is a pretty fancy place it's a pretty good place too like wow this is uh, already looking very good very good and cool in a hotel are we in a hotel or an apartment complex or something I don't know. let's let's get out of here wherever we are it's it's spooky scary and uh we gotta get out of here oh oh pop, 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 pop. <laughs> Uh. All right, so so we still got the whole tap to sprint thing. I think we can change that in the controls if we care that much about it. But you know, I kind of like I kind of like the tap to sprint. It makes it feel a little bit more visceral and urgent to get away when you need to get away. Right? So, oh bonk! Oof, that was very loud. We took a tag there, but it looks like this is no longer one-hit kills for us. So we can get like grazed a couple times before uh, shit really goes bad, and that's good. That's good. That's good. Crouch. We can crouch. Oh, we could crouch before. I think. Great. Yeah. Easy peasy. Well, we probably don't want to go this way. Yeah. Oh. Definitely don't want to go that way. What's this? Oh, we've got a disc. Let's see what's on the disc. Magnetic storage media seems immune to the corrupting effects of the mind kill. Right, so the mind kill is what we're fighting against, right? Here's a floppy disk, and that's like, that's a legit floppy disk. That's a five and a quarter inch legitimately floppy disk. Not those, uh, not those poser three and a half inch, only partially floppy disks, right? Contain hits, uh, hints, tips, and strategies on how to survive. They're vital facts all receivers should be aware of. Sometimes they're personal messages, blah, 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 blah. Essential to connect, collect as many floppies as you can. Okay, okay. 
the turret. Uh, during enemy weapons to attack you, expect the sentry turret to be the most common. You need gotta, many possible variations. That one light source, they don't rely on daylight or building lights to identify the targets. Disabling building lights won't make it harder for them to see you, but it may make it easier for you to see them, well, naturally, right? Trying a flashlight at them is a great way to get their attention, so be careful with flashlights. <laughs> Very good. It's rifle ammunition causing mass damage, which is the problem of medical care. One in five victims of pistol gun, uh, one in five victims of rifle. That's five. After mine kill, you're unlikely to receive prompt med medical care. All right, good to know. <clears throat> Very lightly armored, more like a computer case than a tank, even that limited armor grab suit and pistol rounds. Glancing shots will ricochet harmly. Well, okay. All right, so that might explain why <clears throat> in Receiver 1, some of our shots hardly did dick, and some of them were one-shot kills. So, like, straight-on direct shots have a, have a higher chance of disabling them, so that's good. Destroy's battery located in the rear of the base of the turret, and the camera in the box of the light will not disable it, but make it unable to see you. In the center of the base will disable the motor, making it unable to, unable to turn, etc., etc. And there's the proto-turret. Uh, the result turrets are only partially manifested, leaving their battery and motor components ex completely exposed. Oh, okay. Alright. Well, yeah, it's good to... Good to have information, right? And we got... Two bullets. Two bullets. That's all we need, right? That's all we need is two bullets. Okay, well, let's have a little... Have a little toss around here. Let's uh, look at things. Oh boy! Ding 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 ding. That's very loud. Not much we can do about that though. It seems like the volume controls do not affect <coughs> ricochet shots. But, well, you know what? Let's check. Let's check just to be sure. So our SFX is already turned down super low. We even have the softened gun sounds turned on, and that still didn't really do much. So we're just gonna have to deal. We're just gonna have to deal for now. That's fine. Use slow taps to hack the turret. Balance taps to keep the marker in the safe zone. Alright, so this is what we did before, right? <coughs> to just disable the, the sucker, right? Okay. Oop. A couple more bullets there. Four bullets now. Even more. Eight bullets, and possibly a gun. Hey, we've got a gun. Got a gun, and we're ready to go. Probably read. Read up. Read up on our gun. Revolvers are always a better choice than semi-automatics. Hmm, I don't know about always. <clears throat> hey, Urzorn, how you doing? Good to see you. Uh, yeah, we just played Receiver 1 before this a couple nights ago, so we're sort of familiar with what's going on, um, but this is definitely our first time playing Receiver 2. Uh, okay, civilian carry, yada yada yada, alright, cheaper to train with because it's easy to load, uh -huh. casing stay, yada yada yada, uh huh, uh huh. <clears throat> Won't jam. Yada yada yada, ha 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 ha. This like the throne will sabotage your weapon by drawing welded metal, welded metal cylinders into one or more of your cylinder chambers. You can mitigate this problem by lining up the stop chamber with the barrel when we're loading. Use the mouse wheel or blah blah blah, or the uh, square bracket keys. Okay. As your first trigger pull will rotate it out of your way. If there's more than one stop chamber, you have to take the cylinder rotation direction into account. Oh god. Okay. This is already more complicated. But you know what? That's fine. That's fine. So let let's see here. Uh, let's see. Ah, okay. So there's our there's our rotation, right? Okay. Ah, we can't rotate when we don't have the chamber open. Okay. All right. Okay. That's fine. We'll we'll make do. We'll make do. Uh, all right. So we've got a gun. Got some protection. Giving us uh, quite a few bullets. Very generous of them to give me that many bullets at the start. And another disc. What do we got here? Interference. There are certain interference in our 
supply chains, like the most of our transmissions, be incomplete and off target. Make sure that we get enough through. We need to send at least 10 times what the survivors will need. And let's focus on all of our training. I need Yana. Fortunately, this means we cannot survive the mind kill ourselves. Remember what we are fighting for, even though we lose our bodies, <laughs> continue to exist in reality. A. All right. Signs indicate that mind kill is imminent. The threat is abandoned safety, a subtlety, different S word. In its infiltration of the media, of our societies and our bodies, there is no longer any doubt. It's the time we've prepared for. Uh, it's the time to focus on my attack and guidance and supplies. Yada, 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 yada. Okay. Very good. We're learning. We're learning about things. Now, we need to get the F out of H. Probably by using our new weapon to disable this fucker. Wow, that is extremely loud. Even though we have it turned down. Let's turn it down even more. We even have softened gun sounds turned down. It's still extremely loud. That's whatever. There. Jeez. Also, is there a way to disable that screen flash? Because as, as neat an effect as that is... It's not great. Uh, flinching. I don't think that uh, they might not let you turn that off. Hmm. Well, we'll we'll think about it. Maybe look that up for next time. Okay. What do we got there? Oh, when the mind take. kill comes, you will likely have forgotten everything about your own life before entering the post mind kill environment. Post. But everything that has become intuition, everything you've made a part of your inner self, the threat, is unable to erase. Therefore, it's important to train until the training becomes so natural that you give it no thought. Correct usage of your firearm has to become as natural <laughs> as breathing okay. for there to be any chance of success. Aim practice, I guess, right? All right. Yeah, the tapping for running, I don't mind. Um, and I believe that you can turn off even with the toggle. It's the it's the visual effects are a little intense. But you know what? We'll uh, we'll make it work. It's fine. We'll make it work. This is not blank. It means you have survived the mind kill. Array. I expect this and prepared for that eventuality. Yada yada yada. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, you've forgotten. You have spent years training to receive virtues of perseverance, discipline, and courage. <laughs> well, that's not what I would call two nights ago, but you know, we'll, we'll take it. We know that you have what it takes. Remember, we are still watching you from reality, and we'll never give up on you. Oh, that's very sweet. Very sweet of them to support us from afar like that, right? Okay. 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 Uh, this way. Haha. <laughs> oh, they even make you do a, a sprint jump here, huh? That's neat. I didn't learn about that until real late in the receiver one. That you could do that. Oh. Oh. Boy. Jeez. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Sleeping turret, but it's awake. It's awake. No target moves within its past sensors. Uh huh. Look, learn, listen. Never trust a dark and quiet room. No kidding. Look carefully, make sure it's secure. Learn how to play as uh, a small window of opportunity to act before it activates. Listen to the telltale signs of a fully activated turret. Well, it's already fully activated, so. Can we just kind of sneak around the back? Yeah, yeah, we can. Oh! 
Jeez. I... I guess I didn't hold it. <laughs> or decock it before holstering. Oops. <laughs> well, lesson learned. Lesson learned. Oh. Let's see. Oh. Oh, oh sh. Got to be a little bit more deliberate about that. Oh, jeez. Well, okay. <laughs> All right, we're learning. We're learning. Okay, so we just got to be careful. Let's see, we can. Quick holster and unholster if it's not ready. If it's not ready to fire. But if it's ready to fire, we gotta be careful. Okay. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Uh, I'm I'm on a Dvorak keyboard. That's why. Uh, that's why my uh, key prompts are a, a, a little messy, probably. But it is normal WASD setup. Just uh, just different keybinds, you know. Okay, did we, uh, okay. Ah, and we can't do the, um, can't do the little close-in hacks uh, while we have a weapon out, so that's good to know. Hearing a strange voice when tapes are nearby, huh? No voices just yet. I mean, I hear the chorus singing out, but not. Or maybe is that the voice they're referring to? It is vital that you know that you are not dreaming. This is real. This is the time you have prepared for. Is it though? Oh, okay. I guess that we've earned pacifists somehow, <laughs> even though I'm pretty sure we fired the gun. Uh. I guess it didn't count. It didn't count my shooting the thing before once we kind of ate shit on our own bullet, huh? See, look, they've already got a, a blocked chamber on me. So, with that in mind, then, huh? Which way is it gonna? It's probably gonna, what, rotate clockwise? Yeah. Like that. And then click. There we go. Yeah, clockwise. Whew, all right, so now it starts, right? Now it starts. We gotta be on our toes and ready for what's about to happen. Okay, there's the, there's the voice for tapes nearby, right? down that ladder. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh! oh. <laughs> okay. Thanks for shooting my legs out. Ah well, ah well. I I expect a a fair few things to be happening before we kind of hit our stride here. So don't mind the the poor <laughs> the poor performance throughout. I'm sure. Uh, but all right, okay, okay. Oh, look at this.
was a not a very large fall, but it still got me, I guess. Oh good, it's pointing right at the stairway where I'm gonna use, so. There. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I suppose I could've just jumped across here. Ah, well, too late. All right, so what's the, what's the fall height? That was too high. Oh. Bop, 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 oh. <laughs> Fudge, fudge, fudge. I, I mean, I'm guessing there's some sort of hidden meter of, of total health remaining, right? That's why I, I'll probably eat shit more quickly if I do fall, even if it's from not a fatal height. It doesn't add up. All his years of training, all his taste of this to all the times we talk about what happened after Michael and this here feels awesome. It doesn't feel quite right. Yada yada yada. You're going crazy. Yada yada yada. I know the feeling. I just feel empty and numb. What's happening to me? Ah, oh, Henry, you're not alone. Feeling empty and numb and shit. flashlight right yeah we'll probably be keeping that off at most times especially since it does alert uh, turrets and shit to our presence so oh okay <laughs> Just step away from windows before you shoot at them. Very good. Best friend or unexpected foe can provide an entryway or a quick exit. Can also be lethal. Very good. <laughs> the impact will destabilize the bullets and can interfere with the trajectory. Glass dust can also fill the nose of hollow point rounds, causing them to fail to expand. Oh, interesting. Must shoot through glass. Consider standing back at a safe distance. All right, well, lesson learned. Try to shoot through the holes created by previous rounds. It's possible to run and jump through glass. Some panes are too strong to break that way. It's not shooting them first. The others are not. Wow. All right. Lots to keep in mind. Lots to keep in mind. Isn't there a Chivo or something for... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there is. <laughs> Bullseye are reflection in a mirror. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, we have some, some idea on where to shoot the turrets with uh, knowledge transfer from receiver one, but our aim might not be great. <laughs> I typically go for the base since it's a little bit easier to hit. Oh, Jesus! Okay. Okay, in the park. 
It's on the Warrior Business Show. Free yoga in the park. Try some news. It's not like a. Huh. Okay. Well, they seem to be a little bit more generous with ammo this time. Probably good, considering. Although, yeah, you're right. In Receiver 1, like, the the rendering on the turrets was such that it was always kind of a solid piece of armor versus these, which are sometimes open or whatever, right? Did he already blow off all of these? Man, I should be counting. All right. Another. <laughs> wow. Amazing. We're doing great. <laughs> doing great. Okay, you know what? We don't need to do it. Do it with this. Let's do that. Oh, jeez. Okay, there's a dude right through the corner. Very good, then. I mean, alternatively, I guess if we can get close enough to him, right? Oh, they put the tape underneath its legs. That's... that's cheeky. Eh. Okay. You have seen the signs around you. The gradual creeping, decay, and dysfunction. You have realized that something is wrong with the media and the people around you. <laughs> you know the that you are different. <laughs> this is why you are ready to become a receiver. You have been issued a series of audio cassette tapes that are part of our oh. system of advancing insight. By continually listening to these tapes, you will hey. drown out and eventually counteract the negative influences from your environment. Once you have absorbed these tapes, you will have taken the first step <laughs> towards awakening. Oh, jeez, that's a fuck. <laughs> the media forgot. is a threat. Totally forgot. We have a technique to help. We use tapes as part of this Oof. technique. You must listen to them to advance. Okay. All right. I think you're right from before. That does regenerate health. That's that's good to know, since I definitely shot a hole in my leg just then. For no particularly good reason, honestly. I thought we could we can quick draw like that. Alright, well, whatever. I'm sure we're gonna surprise ourselves with our poor gun handling yet again. When confronting the, the threat... A receiver must always remain calm. Always remain calm. <laughs> Most people panic under pressure and, and shoot before properly aiming. Nah, that's Remember not us. That it's better to fire one shot that hits than ten shots that miss. Man, this dude on the tape seems awfully judgy about our shoot always approach. Oopsie. In the face of frustration, it's normal to feel anger and disappointment. Receivers are trained to understand and accept these feelings and allow them to <laughs> flow through their mind unobstructed and out uh, the other side, uh, uh. leaving only clarity and resolve. Anger and disappointment, oh man, dude, you have no idea. <laughs> Oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm.
common knowledge that some needs are a higher priority than others. People note that in order to pursue some, others must be fulfilled first. They frame the complex situation using a, a simple, unrealistic example. Like how you can't be happy if you don't have air to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> I guess um, that's true. These simplifications are used to hide more complex truths. That the body sustains the mind, and the mind sustains the body. The most present needs are in the domain of the mind. Without baseline function of thought, you can find yourself without the will to move or eat. Strengthening the mind by developing focus and resilience is the goal of a technique we call mind tech. Mind tech TM. <laughs> Am I earning bullets back for hitting those things? Seems that way. Shit, where's it coming from? I'm dead. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. I don't know if I like that they sometimes give you blocked off cylinders. That's not that's not cool. I don't need more things to think about when I'm panic firing into three turrets. But I guess we'll just have to deal. Although, you know, that extra little bit to think about is probably okay. Probably what we would expect from a sequel. <clears throat> okay. There's another thing about the balloons, huh? Well, the only thing I've noticed so far is the uh, getting of the ammo when you destroy them. So we're just going to shoot them. We're just going to shoot them for now. And we'll figure out any extra things about them in due time, I suppose. Also, hmm. Maybe not the safest place to be. But we're going to stick around here anyways.
Oh, your connection is broken skies, messed up sounds, full of things that want to kill me. <laughs> Welcome to the world. I haven't seen any other receivers. I saw it like, like a family. It's just they're all gone. Oh, Lewis, you're not alone. Don't worry. I'm here too. <laughs> For very brief amounts of time. And then I phase back into existence after I revive. Okay. Well, they put together a much better looking skybox, at least. That's at least a PNG instead of a JPEG, right? Okay, all right, yeah, some of these, uh, this is looking familiar now, too. Some of these room layouts, yeah, 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 I get what you were saying from before. You have seen the signs around you. The gradual creeping, decay, and dysfunction. You have realized that something is wrong with the media and the people I've around you. You know that you are different. This is why you are ready to become a receiver. You have been issued a series of audio cassette tapes that are part of our system for advancing insight. By continually listening to these tapes, you will drown out and eventually counteract the negative influences from okay. your environment around in a big dang circle once you have absorbed Oops. these tapes you will have taken the first step towards awakening your true self My true self huh? the media is a threat we have a technique to help we use tapes as part of this technique you must listen to them to advance I don't know, that sounds like something the media would say. To safely carry a powerful concealed weapon like the Detective Special, the first thing you have to do is forget everything you've ever seen in a movie. Pretty much Done. everything they do <laughs> is dangerous and incorrect. <coughs> For example, no shit. movie badasses often carry guns tucked in. Oh no, that's how you lose a ball. Their back, which is or a an ass cheek. Way. To make sure that slipping on a patch of black ice will put you in a wheelchair. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Life. Don't, don't. Normally, do that. <laughs> a fall like that would just bruise your back, but now you have a block of steel directly over your spinal cord, like a hammer on an anvil. What about a horizontal shoulder holster? Uh, sure. If you want to constantly muzzle sweep your family and friends and <laughs> everyone standing behind you in line. <laughs> What about a purse or backpack? Uh, also yeah, bad. That works. If you don't mind someone taking it and having a free gun registered in your name. The only safe way to concealed carry a, a loaded uh. sidearm is to use a rigid molded holster that protects the trigger and, and any exposed controls. If you don't have a holster, you can only safely carry a semi-auto without a round in the chamber. True enough. True enough. That's very, uh, very accurate, the information they're laying down here. I like that. Accuracy is good. Technical accuracy even more so. Ooh, jeez. Going into PowerPoint mode for a second. Whoa! Excuse me. Ooh, this section is gnarly for some reason. Close enough to this thing to <clears throat> disable it for realsies. There we go. The mind kill degrades the condition of firearms, there. making them okay. much more likely to malfunction. You can clear mm. most malfunctions by tapping the magazine to make sure it's seated, racking the slide to chamber a new round, and then bang, you're <laughs> ready to go. Bang, pun intended. Tap, rack, bang. When explorers die of dehydration, their water bottles are usually not empty. They were saving their resources for this later bit, when it got this one's really a bit bad. trickier. When the threat kills people by suicide, it usually turns out that they never ask their family or, or friends for help. Ah, you. They were saving <laughs> that for later when it got really bad. 
If you are under attack by the threat, ask for help now. There is no later. Ooh, tricky son of a bitch. Oof. Okay, I think we're eventually gonna have to do something about the frame rate issue here. I don't know what the hell's going on. We're in necessarily a more complex area where this would happen. It's not like I have a fucking potato machine either. Uh, well, it's the frame rate limiter for now. Uh, nope. Okay. Doesn't help at all. All right. Don't mind me fucking with some settings. What we can do about this hitching that doesn't seem correct. Doesn't seem like it should be happening. Hmm. Now nah, I guess we'll just deal with it for now. It's fine. I want to go up. All right, that's starting to bother me more. Let's just dial it all the way down and see if that uh, resolves it. No, it doesn't. Interesting. <laughs> Oops. Oh, shit. God damn it. Four out of five again. All right. This is bizarre. I might just quit and restart this to see if that clears it up. The old tried and true restart. And hope that things uh, come back appropriately. One moment. One moment. That's better. Weird, but we'll allow it. a memory leak or something who knows who knows but at least we've got a way to clear it up even if it is kind of an annoying minute or so distraction Did work.
work out properly. Okay. Huh. All right. Well, I feel like we'll have to be a little bit more methodical now. Because receiver one, we were just kind of like, you know, die, grab gun, load, and, and go. Now we've got to actually be careful. Because if our progress is gated by a number of tapes in a single go, then uh, we'll have to make sure we do this appropriately. Area, where are you? Oh, <laughs> lol. Ugh. Have seen the signs. Yeah, the signs, the creepy dysfunction, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it. We get it. We get it. Decay and dysfunction. You have realized that something is wrong with the media and the people around wrong, you. All right. You know that you are different. <laughs> this is why you are ready to become started. a receiver. You have been issued a series of audio cassette tapes that are part of our system. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's probably not going to be an unusual situation where I see something without seeing it. Like, it's almost certainly going to happen quite frequently. Influences from your environment. Oh, that's so the second one. Nice. Once you have absorbed these tapes, you will have taken the first step the first towards step. awakening uh, your true self. The media again? is oh, a threat. Cool. Ah, sick. We have a little technique little fire logo. We use tapes as part Good of the technique. Good insert. You must listen to them to advance. Cooper's third rule of gun safety is to keep your finger off the trigger until your sights are on the target. Aw, there to play are that. many physiological <laughs> reactions that can cause your hand to uh, tighten involuntarily. If your finger is on the trigger and you're surprised or stumble or tighten the other hand, the gun will fire and make a hole in whatever it's pointed at. Like my foot. This is especially important when drawing or holstering. Like takeoffs and landings in aircraft, this is when most accidents occur. If no, your attention wanders for a second and you try to holster your gun without removing your finger from the trigger, you will shoot yourself mm. in the leg. It's holding if you are the trying butt, to the draw away, quickly, right? you can easily grab the trigger and shoot yourself in the leg. Okay, well, there's the in-universe explanation of why you discharge on quickly holstering or unholstering. Makes sense. I, I can appreciate a good in-universe explanation of things. I can appreciate that. Just means we gotta be careful. God, these double staircases are always the worst in receiver one. It would plop a turret on like one offset place and then I'd just get in the face of regret perforated by understand it. that there was no other way that events could have played out. All you can do is learn from the experience and move on. The firearm is simple in some ways, deceptively complex in others, but always dangerous. Yeah. Gun training anchors the mind oh, in the moment I see. by apprehending the lethality of the tool and focusing on the moment-to-moment -moment use. A receiver mm. is able to. Boy, those are lined up in a very thing. conspicuous way. Like ideas, objects in the physical reality mm. vary in their utility. 
Although some thoughts and tools are extremely dangerous, we don't arbitrarily limit what Ooh. we can use. Hey, Rather, we strive to better understand my ourselves and our environment so that we may safely handle yeah. even the most dangerous situations. Don't! I only got two of them. Boo! Yeah. Alright, well, now we know. See? Now we know. Told you eventually it would happen. <laughs> okay. Ow, what? what did I do? Roll my ankle when I landed? Give me a break. I'm the most fragile dudes in the world. I don't believe he plays a right wing. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Well played. Well played. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's no way. If we were, uh, <clears throat> if we were a right winger, we would have already blown our legs off several times. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, come on. I was behind the pillar. Boo. <laughs> Damn it. Mm -mm. All right. All right. All right. That's fine. That's fine. We'll make this work. We'll make this work eventually. I have no doubt. It will just take a little bit of time. And me paying attention to what the fuck I'm doing, which is not guaranteed. Oh! Bu -bu 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 -bu. <laughs> Excuse me! Okay, that thing is doing the whole circuit there. Never mind. Oh, cool. That's right. All right, so they give you ammo on these destroyed things now. That's good. That's good. You have seen the signs around you. The yeah, it's gradual creeping, creeping decay, decay, and dysfunction. And yeah, dysfunction. we get it. We've heard that. You have realized that something is wrong something. with the media and the people around you. You know that you are different. Something. This is why you are ready to become a receiver. You have been issued a series of audio cassette tapes that are part of our system for advancing <laughs> insight. By continually listening to these tapes, you will drown out and eventually counteract the negative influences from your environment. <laughs> The negative influences meaning Once the tapes we've heard forever. Tapes, you will have taken the first step oh, nice. towards awakening okay. your true self. The media is a threat. We have a technique to help. We use tapes as part of this technique. You must listen to them to advance. Pumpkin. Don't come in the garage. Call your mommy. She will know uh, what to do. Please. Oh, oh I wanted to check something there. Go Oopsie. in the garage. Oopsie doopsie. It's it's off limits. Love, Daddy. Oh, bop bop bop. Oh, ouch. Oh. Oh, um. The. Dope. Oh. <laughs> Shit. What the fuck was that? The fuck was that shit? I tried to, I tried to put it away. <laughs> I really tried to put it away. Yeah. Mm. All right, we've got some info on this, huh? Hey, sometimes seem to be trapped. Picked one up and almost blew my own head off. Well, I did blow my own head off. 
I had this image just blurred from my gun in my mouth, pull the trigger, and so glad it wasn't loaded. Oh, right. Uh, content warning. We're gonna be talking about some deep shit. Sorry, should have said that much earlier. So glad it wasn't loaded, just when I thought I had a grip on this place, the threat throws me another curveball. There's nothing for it. I have to find taste. I have to keep training my mind to resist and reinterpret that. Yada, 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 yada. Okay. Okay. See? Now we're aware. Now we're aware of that uh, being a thing. And that's the important bit, right? Awareness is important. Awareness is important. Okay, all right, so this is a continuation of that one. Then push anyone and join. I could tell they were extremely cautious. We would just show up, be the guy to exercise for an hour. There wasn't anything out of the ordinary. Hold this pose, concentrate, breathe, always listen, listen, listen. Do this for months. I was curious, but also patient. So this process was called getting to baseline. Hmm. All right. Okay. And they fell asleep for days. Too scared to even try. What if the drones find me? What if a turret materializes in a room with me? I slept under a bed. The apartment's like a child hiding from the boogeyman. Or the boogeyman has been in the little girl. The tree had a whole raft of funny words. It was always completely serious about me. Oh, oh no. Oh no, are we going to start introducing feels into this? That seems uh, not great. Not great. Uh, all right, <clears throat> saves me a bullet. Oh, what the? Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. I wanted to just get rid of the flashlight, and I fucked up. hear a thing too. It's almost certainly a turret, right? Yep. Okay, so my theory initially was that the safe way to disarm these had the smaller safe zone the further away you were from it, but appears to not be the case. Hmm. You know what? That's real quick. I was going to do that real quick while we're thinking about it. <clears throat> I 
Oh, okay. It's just dependent on the turret type. You know, that would have been pretty clever. Like, if you were standing just slightly further away if it was harder. But, okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, watch that first step. Damn it. <sighs> okay. Sick call out. Oh! oh no, no. <laughs> ah, fuck. Uh, Should have expected. Should have expected. <laughs> Situational awareness is, uh, is a thing we need to work on, apparently. <sighs> All right. the radius on these do you think huh because a few times ago there was a one in one of these stairwells they wouldn't do that close to each other would they yeah okay yeah that's fine that's fine i can dig a little uh a little rng going into these things right makes things interesting down without murdering ourselves here. Eh. Okay, just like that. <sighs> yeah, the gradual the creeping decay, decay and dysfunction. Yada yada yada. Blah, 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 blah. Creeping, <clears throat> decay, and dysfunction. You have realized that something is wrong with the line up media on these, but, yeah, and the people around you. You know that you are different. This is why you are ready to become a receiver. 
Well, you have been issued a series of audio cassette perf- tapes that are part of our system. Hey, for we got it. To make back all the ammo we By fucked up with. Listening uh, to these tapes, you will drown out and eventually counteract the negative influences mm. in your environment. Be a small problem. On the Once you rounds. absorb these tapes, you will have taken the first step towards awakening your true self. Well, my true self is getting awful sick of this the first tape, I tell you what. Threat. We have a technique to help. We use tapes as part of this technique. You must listen to them to advance. Hey, stupid, collect the tapes without dying, idiot. <laughs> they really could have just said that. enough <laughs> oh well, all right <laughs> surprise Cooper's fourth rule of gun safety is to know your target and what is beyond it. Mm-hmm. Bullets can penetrate a lot farther than most people think. Mm-hmm. Um, how many interior sheetrock walls do you think a typical 9mm bullet will go through? Four. One, uh, two? More like 20. 20? Damn. In a typical gunfight, more okay. shots miss than hit. That's a lot. But all bullets end up somewhere. Unless you live well, I guess alone in a rural isn't that area, thick, huh? there is no pistol or <clears throat> rifle that won't put your family and neighbors at risk. Even hollow point rounds often miss or fail to expand. The safest choice for an effective internal home defense weapon in a populated area is a pump action shotgun loaded with a small buckshot or large birdshot. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Entertaining and educational. Stairway down here. Oh, okay. That'll do. There. Oh, boop. My first floor. Right, 
are you, <laughs> you piece of shit? Oh! Oh, fuck. There. The body and mind are linked. Well, duh. Physical actions are a manifestation of mental actions. Well, also, Thus, duh. Training to protect the body <coughs> also protects the mind. Eh, slightly less, duh. Controlling your environment controls your thoughts. You, your body, and your environment are part of a larger whole. Control your thoughts control your body control your environment and control your fate mm, no fate no fate but what we make for ourselves terminator taught me that Ooh, oh, bop, 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 bop. oh no 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 there's two of them oh, bop, 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 bop. oh excuse me i was behind a fucking metal dumpster Oh, eat my ass. <laughs> Damn it. Mm. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, fine. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Ain't no single pane sheet glass gonna stop me. With the rise of powerful concealed weapons like the Detective Special, along came laws to restrict them. In the 1930s, oh the NRA drafted and endorsed concealed carry restrictions that passed in almost every state. Um, starting in the 70s, they changed their mind and started aggressively campaigning to repeal those same laws. Until now, concealed carry is permitted in most parts of the USA. They still vary widely from state to state, so if you want to concealed carry, it's a good idea to learn the laws where you live. They're probably different than you expect. Uh, yeah, it's also important to learn the laws about when it's legal to use concealed weapons in self-defense. Now, they say it's better to be tried by 12 than carried by 6, but that can be cold comfort when you're doing hard time for murder or manslaughter. <laughs> Before choosing to concealed carry, you need to, at the very least, understand the five pillars of self-defense. Innocence, imminence, reasonableness, avoidance, and proportionality. Hmm. Self-defense laws only protect you if you did not provoke an attack. The attack was clearly imminent. There was a reasonable threat of injury or death. You did everything you could to avoid the threat. And you used the minimum possible amount of force in proportion to the threat. <laughs> Who? Uh, um, okay. Okay. I was about to say something, something snarky about all that, but you know, maybe it's best I don't. Maybe it's best that I don't.
wasn't there? Yeah. You have seen the signs. Yes, the you. signs around me, the creeping Gradual decay, creeping the dysfunction. Oh, fuck. And dysfunction. All right, that might have you have rolled my ankle a little bit. Something is uh, wrong ouch. with the media and the people around you. You know that you are different. This is why you are ready to become a receiver. You have been issued a series of audio cassette tapes that are part of our system for advancing insight by continually listening to these tapes you will drown out and eventually counteract the negative influences from your environment once you have absorbed these tapes you will have taken the first step towards awakening your true self my true self well how the fuck would you the know media what my true self is a is? threat weird disjointed we voice. have a technique to help we use tapes as part of this technique you must listen mm. to them to Two advance. Three. Yeah, eat shit! Ah, oh, yeah! Fall damage, idiot! Fuck you. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Is there a safe way to crawl our butts down there? Probably over here, huh? Stairway down on this side somewhere, so huh? no. Hmm. Let's have a look around. We got plenty of time. We're we're in no rush here. We've got what two out of five? Ah, here we go. Yeah, we gotta go down over here. <sighs> we gotta go down over here somewhere. Here, here. Yeah, that's right. Crawled up this ladder. What? Come on! Ah, fuck! <laughs> Son of a bitch. Mmm! We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Made me complacent thinking there was nothing else going on there. <sighs> it's okay. All right. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We got this. We got it. It's fine. Just have to listen to that creepy dysfunction tape again. That's no problem. Say I'm expecting there to be one in here. Oh, bu 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 <laughs> we were already too deep into that one. I had to go for it. I had to just go. Didn't work though. Oh well. Ah, 
Ah, oh, two block chambers, you pieces of shit. Come on. Ooh, yeah, I can see how jumping out this window might be not be a good idea. Bump. Bump. <laughs> Why doesn't that cause damage? Like, come on. Oh, oh, we're getting a little power pointy now. Time to time to restart this. Oh crap. Yeah, what the hell? What the hell is going on here? And where did I oh here. It's like <laughs> Which window did I bust through? Okay, that's... Ooh, mm, mm, mm. Mm. It's weird, although it is like roughly 40 minutes in. Alright, yeah. That's starting to... Starting to pile up. So let's go ahead and close it out and restart it. That's annoying. That's annoying, but you know, whatever. It gives us a you know break to to think about our lives, to have a drink. Mm. And uh, you know, just to breathe. <laughs> hey Kenny, how you doing? Good to see you. Um, yeah, that's, that's all right. That's, it's annoying. It's not like I can blame Wine or Proton for that either, because I believe this is a native Linux build that's going on here. Um, so, eh, whatever. Whatever, no biggie, we're back, it's fine. It's fine, we're here. All smooth and shit. Are we gonna, really gonna have to jump out a window for this? Like, this seems a little, a little silly. They didn't give me a, an easy exit here. Hell's our front door? Oh, there. It's there, but. Bump. 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 Let me out! Thank you! Gravy. Oh, we didn't even do our customary. Oh, right, the two block chambers. <laughs> well, way. Wait for it. You have seen the uh, creeping decay, dysfunction, blop, 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 blop. Creeping, decay, and dysfunction. That <laughs> sucker you missed me. And the people around you. You know that you are different. This is why you are ready to become the fuck was he? a receiver. Oh, there. <laughs> you have been issued a series of audio cassette tapes Wait, what? that are part of our fuck? system. Oh, up there? Up there? Come on. Inside. Shooting at me from the second floor, you By cheeky bitch. Oh. Tapes, you will drown out and eventually counteract. <laughs> Me. From your Ooh, a little off the top, please. Once you have absorbed these tapes, you will have taken the first step toward awakening your true self. Hey, fuck you. The media is a threat. We have a technique to help. We use tapes as part of this technique. 
You yeah. must tapes listen part of this to technique them. during the favorite. 20th century with our cassette tapes. Cooper's second rule of gun safety is to never point the gun at something you are not willing to destroy. Correct. Now, this seems obvious, but is Correct. easy to forget Correct. in the moment. If you are training at the range and a burning hot shell casing falls down your shirt, are you prepared to keep the gun pointed at the target? Uh, if the gun malfunctions, are you sure you won't point it sideways to get a better look at what's wrong? Uh, what if you were preparing to take it apart for routine maintenance? Are you still paying attention to which way the barrel is pointing? I, I, don't, I would hope so. Many accidents take place while cleaning guns, because that's often when we let our guard down. When explorers die of dehydration, their water bottles are usually not empty. They were saving their resources for later, when it got really bad. When the threat kills people by suicide, it usually turns out that they never asked their family or, or friends for help. Fuck, 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 fuck! Come on! <laughs> I only took one fucking shot there! Damn it! If this is all a dream or some shit, like, what the fuck? Can I dream myself up some body armor? <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. Not mad. You have seen the signs around you. Gradual creeping, decay, the dysfunction. Gradual creeping, decay, yes, we get it. Function. We get it. You have realized that. Oh shit! Oh shit! With the media and the people around what you. What am I standing on? You know that you are different. Uh, this is why you are ready to become a receiver. Oh. You have Oof. been issued a series of audio cassette tapes that are part of our system for advancing okay. insight. <laughs> we'll take it. By continually listening to these tapes, you will drown out and eventually counteract the negative influences from your environment. Once you have absorbed these tapes, you will have taken the first step the first towards step for my true self. Blah, true blah, self. blah, blah, blah. The media is a threat. We have a technique to help. We use tapes as part of this technique. You must listen to them to advance. Must I, though? Must I? In the face of regret, understand that there was no other way that events could have played out. Mm. All you can do. Sounds like somebody who gave up said, fuck it. We're going to take the first result that comes our way. Stop getting shot to advance. You know, when you're not wrong, you're not wrong. <laughs> oh, boy. Look, I did pre-warn you that we're going to see a lot of this, okay? Like, it's all right. Like, you're fairly warned. We're going to see a lot of restarts. Because that's what's going to happen. All right, we're two at five. See? Two out of five. Forty percent there. Nearly to a passing grade. The tone. What?
Oh, well, we missed a yoga thing. All right. Well, after a while, I started to notice a strange pattern. You wouldn't see a person or two look up as if they were noisy, seeing them kind of weird, hearing it, blah, blah, blah. Then you grab some coffee out of class and remember, it's just got my friends hanging out, blah, blah, blah. And then you during Downward Dog, heh, <laughs> giggity. <clears throat> Notice her do the, the thing, like she heard a sound. Coffee ever asked her about it, she climbed up her way, pressed her little bit, she blurred out, you have to stop watching the TV. <clears throat> After that, there was always some reason she was a bit too busy to go for coffee. Okay, well, yeah, whatever. And then finally heard the tone. I was holding a plank, looking straight down at the grass sweater. Who knows when I heard it? It sounded so weird, I looked up. There was Amy looking right at me from the side of smiling. One of the instructors, Lawrence, came after class. He told me he thought I'd benefit from practicing at home and gave me a cassette tape. Haha, <laughs> cassette tapes. I had no idea what I was getting into, but I also knew this is exactly what I'd been waiting for. Alright, well, that's a little weird. That's a little weird. Things are starting to come together, though. So maybe, you know. <clears throat> Maybe all of our frequent deaths are uh, are a benefit here. We're we're learning the story. We're getting the info. Getting the info. Getting the lore, the deep lore. That uh that is receiver two. Oh. Turned around. Turned around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Once we're full-fledged receivers, we'll be able to do the downward dog. I mean, yeah, that's really the the human ideal that we can all strive for, right? Being able to do downward dog without uh, shattering our spines or something, right? That's what we can all look forward to. Oh, now we're in the hospital portion. I was about to say, come on. Guide us, oh coral throat voice. Novices often start with snub nosed revolvers like the detective special because they look small and friendly. <laughs> Such a small weapon must have light recoil, right? Wrong. Yeah, it wrong. It kicks almost twice as hard as a full size revolver like the Model 10. Yeah. They fire the same cartridge, but snubbies have less mass to dampen the acceleration. Ding, so ding, it ding, kicks ding, like a mule. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, also, contrary <clears throat> to popular belief, the short barrel does not make the snub nose inherently inaccurate. If you shoot it five times from the exact same position with a ransom rest, you can get a two-inch group at 20 yards, which is better than most humans can achieve with a top-tier target pistol. However, in practice, it is very hard to shoot accurately because the front and rear sights are so close together. Fair enough. I do like that they put in uh, an alternate way to take these fuckers out, though, at close range. That's nice. That's nice. Using good old human ingenuity and, uh, presumably fingers to, uh, dismantle these fucking idiots. Hmm. I see it. I see it over there. Z
Control your breathing as you approach the door, slowly slicing the pie as you go. You are in the fatal funnel now as you move in a semi-circle past the door, but don't rush. Mm -hmm. See everything. Don't Focus rush. beyond that front sight. Let your body aim for you. Breathe. Corner's clear. It's time to choose a direction and commit. Left or right? Which way lies victory? Which way, death? Only one way to find out. <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> Don't Very dawdle reassuring. in the doorway. You're a silhouette, and that's where the guns are aimed. And sweep the room smoothly to encompass <laughs> the whole space. It's a difficult thing, but practice makes oh, perfect. Oh, am I full up on ammo? Slow is smooth. Interesting. Smooth is fast. Wait, excuse me, contradiction. Slow is smooth, and smooth is fast. That means slow is fast. Transitive property, come on. I'll try to pull that shit over on a math miner. I know what he's trying to get at, though. Still true, regardless. Hey, guess what? Five fucking tapes. This tape is designed to test your focus in the face of distraction. <laughs> what the distraction of dumbass tapes? Yeah, I know. <laughs> if your attention wandered, that is normal. Just notice that without judgment. Look at try again. Kind of weak ass screaming was that? Come on, man, you can do better than that. And gravy. Fucking whatever. <laughs> so stupid. Uh. Yeah. Well, at least we got a Chivo for it. Not entirely. Oh, cool. We finally get something other than a fucking revolver. <sighs> all right. 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 Uh. Hmm. Looks like it's a capacity limited revolver, huh? Hmm. Oh, they don't let you load it as fast as you can tap anymore, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven! Seven capacity max. Alright, thanks for stopping by, Urzorn. Hopefully we'll see you next time, because I have a feeling this will bleed into more than one night. Emphasis on bleed. <laughs> Alright. Ready? Ready. So, wait. Uh, yeah, there is a safety. Okay, so... Here's where the safety didn't matter in Receiver 1, right? Because we could holster and unholster as fast as our... So our fingers could tap, 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 tap. Here, it's actually important. Bop! That was safety on? Excuse me? No, that was safety off. Okay, they uh, swapped those between receiver one and receiver two, then. Oops. That's annoying. That's kind of annoying. So, safety on, yes? Nope, safety off. Safety on. Wait, excuse me? Wait a minute. Was I not pressing the safety button? Excuse me. Receiver two. The fuck was... What's the safety button? Or was I just swapping between semi-auto and full auto? What the fuck? What button was I pressing? Okay. Oh. Well, no, 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 no. Yeah, safety full auto. What the fuck? What the fuck, man? Well, not like it matters. Hmm. 
Well. Got two bullets because I fucked around with the safety in full auto. Oops. Well, that's fine. I'm sure, we'll find more ammunition somewhere. <coughs> Bonk. Bonk. Okay, whatever. <sighs> well, fuck that floor, anyways. Insulted me. The next thing is you need to make sure it's properly seated and then the rounds aren't stuck and then rank the slide again. If you see brass and you press check, you're good to go. Oops. Well. One. Two bullets. Alright, that's all we need. All we need is two. Okay, now it's getting complicated. I guess I can see why the revolvers are attractive, because we didn't have to- Oh, Jesus Christ. We didn't have to deal with any of this bullshit before. But, for now... For now, we'll just deal with it without have to dealing with fucking stopped up cylinders or whatever. Ah, fuck! <laughs> Ow, my leg! Oh. Wait, what? Why did we fucking get demoted? Excuse me! Ah, oh, boo! Come on, just because I shot myself the leg... Ah, uh, oh, boo! Fuck you, Receiver 2! Ah. Uh, <laughs> Ah, oh, that sucks. That fucking sucks. <sighs> fucking fuck. <laughs> fuck. Hopefully we don't go back to that other batch of tapes then. I don't want to hear about the fucking creeping Dis dysfunction or dystopia or whatever dis something like we already know all about that fucking doctorate level theses on that shit fucking demoting me just because I shot myself in the leg give me a break that could happen to anybody but particularly me Alright, what do we say? Seven rounds, right? Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> Fuck. Just wanted to shove another round in the in the mag. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Alright, uh uh. Eh. Eh. Yeah. There's only two settings. Where the fuck is the actual safety interlock? Whatever. All right. I guess we'll just we'll just hold the button instead of whatever. If we play this game for two hours, yeah, Steam would probably take it back. <laughs> you know, no, I'm not gonna refund the like. The game is fun. I'm just an idiot. Damn it! <laughs> See? I'm just an idiot. <laughs> Gotta hold the button, not tap it.
damn it. Oh no, don't give me a revolver again, come on! I'm not gonna get used to the semi-auto if you keep fucking giving me a, giving me a revolver. Mm, you pieces of shit. Oh good, yeah, two stopped up fucking chambers too, great, awesome, perfect. Whatever. <laughs> fucking whatever. <laughs> Have one. I don't have one back here. Do they? Some more bullets. Oh. No. Oh. One on the pool table. Oh, the, the gradual creeping decay and dysfunction. Yes, we know. Creeping. We know. Decay Undo our demotion, you piece of shit, you fucking coward. Come on. You have realized that something is wrong with something the media yeah, and the yeah, people yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, around you. Uh-huh, Something is definitely you wrong. You are oh, fuck, fuck, I'm about to die. That's what's wrong. Ah, bonk. <laughs> God damn it. Maybe we shouldn't run with a uh, cocked revolver either. <laughs> Cock. Was that gimp ass shot? Come on. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> Ponk. Five seconds later falls over. Okay. Very good then. Does that count as a kill? Better damn well count as a kill. Better not be able to shoot me from all the way over there since it's lying on its side. I guess we'll find out, huh? Sure can! Okay, luckily you can't really aim all that well. So that's something. Uh, expects me to go over there, huh? Two out of three again. Bitch.
Bond. Not hearing any throat wave here. Let's go. Gotta find them tapes. Get back to our... Oh, shit. Back to our... Back to being asleep, apparently. Rather than baseline. Ugh. Uh, see the gradual, the gradual creeping decay and dysfunction. Gradual creeping decay and dysfunction. Sure have. You have realized that something is wrong with the media yeah, and the people right. around you. You know that you are different. This is why you are ready to become a receiver. Oh, motherfucker. You have been issued a series of audio cassette tapes that are part of our system. Two out of three. Advancing Side, <sighs> bitch. By continually listening to these tapes, you will drown it out and tapes, eventually counteract the negative influences from your environment. Uh -huh. Once you have absorbed these, think tapes, of only you one negative influence right now. First step oh, shit. towards awakening your true yeah, self. See. The media is a threat. We have. <laughs> Jesus fuck. That's fucking solid metal. Excuse me. Three got a Chivo for it too. Good for us. Good for us. <laughs> the VA from Talos Principle. Right? I I guess it would land a little bit differently in a dystopian level type shit, right? I guess it would, right? So, you know, maybe it's the best voice they could have had. Maybe it's the best one. Who knows? It's just, it, it's like a, a different level of encouragement to never have to listen to everything like 20 times over again, right? See the creeping decay and gradual dysfunction. Decay and dysfunction. Whatever. You have realized that something is wrong with the media and the people around you. You know that you are different. This is why you are ready to become a receiver. You have been issued a series of audio cassette tapes that are part of our system for advancing insight by continually listening to these tapes you will oh, drown right. I'll start first and eventually counteract the negative influences from your environment <laughs> once you have absorbed these tapes you will have taken the first step <coughs> awakening your true self Clearly, <laughs> something is wrong with the game and the design choice the media <laughs> is a threat all right well that's a little harsh but you know i won't argue help. that you're wrong we use tapes as part of this technique you must listen to them to advance. Many people believe that the brain is the seat of consciousness, yet important thoughts and feelings are carried out in ganglia, clusters of neurons found throughout the body. 
the mind stretches within the body all these? and controls it. Conditions in the body reflect Dead. the mind, there. and damage to the body is damage to the mind as well. I mean, I guess that's true. Oh, I missed everything. Nice job, idiot. Fuck. What? Iron sights, please. You're letting me down. Amazing. There. <laughs> Great. Alright, two out of five, it's fine. It's fine. We'll be fine. We'll get the three in record time and get promoted back to a sleep. Everything's fine. I don't know why they're giving me five fucking inventory slots when all I can get is a gosh dang flashlight. Uh, can we fall that far without eating shit? We're gonna try. Oh boy, that's something. Poof, 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 poof. You know what? You know what? Uh, button. Load. Bonk. Bonk. Okay, good enough. After World War II, wow. a military study concluded that there only a quarter of American soldiers were willing to line up their sights on a human target. Now, <sighs> to combat this problem, the army found ways to dampen our natural aversion to killing one another. Oh, goody. They replaced bullseye targets with human silhouettes, uh, made training conditions more similar to actual combat, and trained recruits to avoid taking personal responsibility for killing. You know, after enough training... You, you can, can become a sociopath, just like everybody else. Great. All, awesome. And just see silhouette targets everywhere. Even yeah. in the mirror. Superb. Well, there's the hint about the achievo you get for bullseyeing your own fucking. Ugh. Gah. Gah. You know, that's a pretty astute commentary, honestly. Like, bravo on that tape. Bravo on that tape. Mm, did we actually hit the motor there? No, we didn't. It just took inordinately long to fucking do its thing there. <clears throat> One of the trap tapes. Yeah, you're probably not wrong. Like, that could have been a real subtle setup for it, honestly. Only, like, half paying attention to it. Oh, but... Oh, that was a balloon. It's like, ha, ah, ah. <laughs> ha! Oof. <laughs> oh, dear. Nice shot! There we go. There's the one shot, one kill. Or, I think we only got its camera, but... But still. Alright, so yeah. Blowing the fuck out of it first, and then disarming it is uh, easier. Very good, then. Very good, then. Well, I'm kind of disappointed that we haven't seen any of the, any of the flying drone things yet. Maybe that's because they don't trust us to be able to dispatch them effectively yet. Which is honestly not an incorrect assessment on their part. Considering how much more we have to deal with here. Fuck, 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 fuck. Shit. 
All right, fine. They gave us a semi-auto back at least. Ah, I see. So now they're teaching us about actually loading a magazine, right? Oh, there's one in the chamber too, huh? What the fuck? Ah, oh, I hit the wrong button. Oopsie. Yeesh. Eh. Oops. Well, that's on me. I can't even blame the game for that one. Mindfulness. Mindfulness. Very important to be mindful. Like, that's not even a joke. That's actually incredibly good to be mindful. Oh! Balls. <laughs> I thought... Oh, shit. I thought that was going to go out to a patio. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Uh, well. Well then. Okay, good. <laughs> Little bitch. Uh, oops. Still kind of messed up. There's not actually a safety on this one. It's doing the PowerPoint again. Okay, you know what that means. Uh, you know, almost 40 minutes on the dot. Almost 40 minutes on the dot each time. I don't know if that means we're maybe dying at the very same pace that we were before, or, uh, or there's some sort of timing issue going on. Weird. Weird. Either way, annoying, but uh, we can deal. We can deal. This will pop us just right back to where we were with our, our Glock 17 there. Glock 7? Whatever, Glock some number. Alright, yeah, we're back. Back and good. dark without the lights on, huh? I would have thought it would be back here, huh? There we go. Okay. This tape is designed to test okay, alright, it's the, the screaming tape. Very good. You know what? I can't get mad at the screaming tape. I really can't. How much fun if you're do you think that dude had that making normal, making those noises? I'm I'm thinking a lot of fun, a lot of fun. It, let's try again. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Receivers. Oh, uh, we didn't read the the deeper level. Whatever. 
Originally explained that the tone meant I had tapped into deeper level of concentration was a natural result of some autonomic response. Recording said not to mention the sound to anybody because they didn't want to make them feel left out. I didn't believe a word of it. The tape also introduced some new ideas about how the media was making people sick. Yeah, how about that? Uh, skeptical, of course, but I also admit that the going to class, cutting down TV and internet time, had made me feel better than I had in years. All right, all right, all right, okay, all right, <laughs> okay. Receivers, though. Every week I could get a new tape, my collection started to grow. I'd listen to them on the bus. The tapes were pretty short, so swapping them out became a ritual. It made me wish I still wore a chest rig, and then they'd do a backpack. Rick, the guys give me a hard time about it. They say, did you see the news? Magnetic tapes cause cancer. They go, oh, well, okay, wow, that's a stretch. <clears throat> Learn from the new tapes that people like us are called receivers. And, you know, started spending more time together again. She had her own tape deck of tapes and was further along than I was. She was spending a lot of time in the, uh, a place the group called the rec center. No matter it changed, she was holding something back and I knew the answer was on her tapes. Okay, this is getting uh, a little weird. A little weird. Just a, a little weird, but you know, okay. I, I, it, it's hard, it's in the right place, but it's a little weird. Fuck! It's too quick. Too quick. <laughs> too quick on that one. You have seen the signs. Oh my god, the creeping dis the dysfunction decay. Yeah, da 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 da. Blah 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 blah. Dysfunction. You have realized that something is wrong with the media uh -huh. Uh -huh. and the people around you. Something is wrong. With you know that you are different. Got a little something wrong with them. Fuck, 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 fuck. What? Oh, don't give me a revolver. Come on. Man. Although they are harder to shoot myself in the leg with, I don't give them that much. Two bullets, two bullets per uh, per little thing that we pop there. What? Wait, what? I really just... Ah! <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. You know, I would be remiss if we didn't pocket all of these and see if there's a Chivo for it. Eh? One more. Come on. Come on. Come on, you know you wanna. can never do it on purpose. Fucking... Alright. Eh? 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 No! No Chivo for clearing the pool table? Come on! Receiver 2, let us have our fun here! Ah, boo! <laughs> That's right. Boo. Boo indeed. Like, come on. Let us have some fun. We're gonna spend all day getting capped by turrets and shit. Let's relax with a nice little... Nice little spot of pool every now and again, you know? You have seen the, the signs creeping decay. around you. Yaddy, 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 the gradual yaddy. creeping, decay, gradual and dysfunction. Decay. Uh -huh. You have realized that something is wrong with the media and the people around you. You know that you are different. 
This is why you are ready to become a receiver. You have been issued a series of audio cassette tapes that are part of our system for advancing insight. By continually listening to these tapes, you will drown <laughs> out listening. and you have no eventually idea, buddy. counteract the negative influences from your environment. <laughs> Once you have absorbed these tapes, you will have taken the first step towards awakening your true self. Mm -hmm. True self. The media is a threat. We have a technique to help. We use tapes as part of this technique. You must listen to them to advance. Receivers know that the biggest predictor of success is true grit. <laughs> true the grit, huh? Maintain resolve in the face of adversity. Face of adversity? You mean my own stupidity? Like hell yeah, I've got true grit then. I'm definitely there, and I missed the last part of what he said, so I hope it wasn't important. Oh, there was another thing that I just skipped on past. Right. Oh! Mother. Really? Are you fucking kidding me? What? What? Like, if I can't see them, how can they see me? Oh, motherfuckers. <sighs> True grit. True grit, right? True grit. Try it. I dare you, you fucking idiot. <laughs> you have seen, seen the, the signs the around you, the gradual creeping decay and dysfunction, yada 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 yada, blah blah blah, the media is poison, etc. etc. We get it. We get it. You have realized. Ah, oh, fuck. Is wrong with the media and the people around you. You know that you are different. Oh, that is doing. This is why you are ready to become. That is dope. A okay, we got we got the one that was under it. Been issued a series of audio <laughs> Can we move around and actually disable this thing at the same time? <laughs> I like that. Continually listening to these tapes. Wow, that's a fucking balance, huh? Eventually. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Influences from your environment. <laughs> Once you have I should just shoot the fucking thing, honestly. The first step I should just shoot awakening it. Your true All right, you know self. what? Fuck this. The media is a threat. We have a technique. To <laughs> there we go. Part of this technique. <laughs> we have a technique too. It's called one shot, one kill. That's what it's called. Carry a powerful concealed weapon like the detective special. The first thing you have to do is forget everything you've ever seen in a movie. Pretty much everything they do is dangerous and incorrect. Yes, so, correct. For example, movie badasses often carry guns tucked into their waistband in the small of their back, which is a great way to make sure that slipping on a patch of black ice will put you in a wheelchair for the rest of your life. Normally, a fall like that would just bruise your back, but now you have a block of steel directly over your spinal cord, like a hammer on an anvil. What about a horizontal shoulder holster? Uh, sure. If you want to constantly muzzle sweep your family and friends. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah, by the time I see it, it's too late. Didn't even hear it. Sneak, sneaking up on me there. Fuck, why is. Ah. Mother.
that gave it to me fully loaded. Problem solved. Boombax. Maybe you watch an old black and white movie at her place, never watch her anything in the last six years. Halfway in, she does off trying to get us to use the rest of the second home care. Let's only advance stage from first. We have a pack of dust in the bathroom. So a pack brought a double set boombox. Jeez, I speed dubbing. You're pretty short, it only took a few minutes to do the first part of the blah. First time you didn't say, got a beer with the way from the fighting anything right there. Gap rolling your eyes. Okay, weird shit, but all right, we'll go with it. Go with it. Mm. Um. Okay, I might take issue with that one a little bit. You have seen the signs around you. The gradual creeping, <laughs> decay, and dysfunction. Uh, gradual creeping, decay, and dysfunction. You have realized that something is wrong. Fucking... Fucking... Where was the second one? Ah, uh, excuse me. the doorway well yeah that's a good way to fucking got killed by glass achievement unlocked good job <laughs> good job no give me back my semi-auto come on come on man Ugh. all right you know what? We're at least gonna get back to whatever rank we were before, and then we'll call it a night. Get back to the highest thingamading we unlocked, and then... then resume next time. Oh, 
The mine killed the threat, the mine tech, all of it. From the outside, the rec center looked like any other mixed-use commercial building. From the 80s, from the inside, it looked like a training camp. I was entirely ready to accept everything I'd learned. I also wasn't ready to get this new life. So when people organized training, moving as one, this is something I knew from the infantry, yada, yada, yada. Next day, only three of ran up to me and tore off my headphones screaming at me. Apparently, according to social media, using a tape player in public, become the secret symbol of an anti... It, excuse me, an anti-handicapped hate group. Became a tape player out of sight after that. Okay. Interesting. Interesting way to go about that. But okay. Hmm. Jeez. What's wrong with that? Feel we learned that the most effective way to clear rooms is to destroy the building. If you can't do that, then hose the room with a vehicle mounted 50 cal. Yeah, right. Can't do that and stack up outside at 3 a.m. with energy. Just break the room and go in fast to clean up. I fear alone with a pistol and all their gear. We don't train for that. Never get in that position. There's, it's just a way to give your enemy a free pistol. Or at least that's what I was told the friend the rec center when they asked me about it. They didn't seem to like my answer. Well, duh. Well, fucking duh. Really get yourself going pretty quick with jumps and shit. The other side there. Ah. Oh wow, I didn't even get two of them in a go, huh? Poop. How was that a fucking fall damage? Like, come on. Um, ah, oh, well. It's <laughs> just, just accept the fate at that point, right? Oi. There, finally. Semi auto back. that formation at least. From receiver one. Full kill shot, or did I just stop it from rotating? It sounded like a full kill shot. Oh, nice. Got uh, another mag.
Oh, fuck. No, oh, just got the rotor. Red disc. Oh, secret notes. No, oh, who's got me? You never gonna make it to the other series very clearly. I guess I knew this all along. I never did get the whole mind tech thing. I'm not really sure. This is some dead chops. Yada 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 yada. Huh huh huh. It's in all stupid places. Tries all the dumbest shit. Gets killed over and over again. Ding 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 ding. <laughs> Hopefully, there's a few tricks in the process because I'm all generous to show regard the stuff. Cheers, the mongoose. The name's too fancy. Get the names, Maggie. Lol. Interesting, interesting, interesting. You have seen the signs around you. Lord, you lots of the eggs gradual now. creeping, decay, decay and dysfunction. And dysfunction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it. We you get have it. realized that something is wrong with the media <laughs> and the people around you. You know you are different. This is why you are ready to become a receiver. You have been issued a series of audio cassette tapes that are part of our system for advancing insight. By continually listening to these tapes, you will drown out and eventually counteract the negative influences from your environment. Once you have absorbed these tapes, you will have taken the first step towards awakening your true self. The media is a threat. Jeez. All right, three we full mags, four help. full mags. We use tapes as part of this technique. You must listen to them to advance. Must we listen to them to advance? We already did it once. We already had it's only in this situation that you really, really focus on what counts. Things are great. The hands training your line tech at work and it's helping the fire and drills direct center on off days that found purpose in meaning fighting the threat. Those last few mo months before the mind killer were some of the best of my life. Now that's finally happened, I realized some someone had to write an account of this war. This is the single most important event in human history, and if I wasn't writing it down, maybe nobody would. Eh. Kind of heavy-handed, but, you know, we can appreciate a good sort of on-the-nose dystopia story, right? When explorers die of dehydration, their water bottles are usually not empty. They were saving their resources for later, when it got really bad. When the threat kills people by suicide, it usually turns out that they never asked their family or, or friends for help. They were saving that for later, when it got really bad. If you are under attack by the threat, ask for help now. There is no later. Is that the indicator that one of the, the trap tapes is coming up, maybe? And we just normally eat shit before then? Jeez. So just extract. 
extract the ammo from it and leave it be, right? How do I drop this thing? Hell's my drop button. The hell's my drop button? <laughs> I even have one? Dot. Okay. Okay. What the f Oh, I fucking double tapped it. That was kind of silly, huh? Oops. Ah, uh, not tapes. Not tapes. Uh, those, those, those. Notes? Notes. Notes. Here we go. Charlene. We're under Charlene's little thread here. Really, if we could assassinate you know, or post apocalyptic rate of a possible disaster, now use a receiver training. You can do this. You know, it'd be like Charlton Heston and Soylent Green and solve this puzzle. Well, it's better idea. Yeah, you know, I've never actually seen Soylent Green. I should probably watch that. Seems apropos to the times we live in. Some concepts are useful, others are the exact opposite. These terminating thoughts take complex and useful ideas and turn them into a simplistic cliche that is as incorrect as it is useless. Sounds like a new one. The appeal of these thoughts is that they give a false feeling of certainty and authority. But they block true mental development. The functional mind questions and observes. It oh, looks shit. inward at the up, form of I? ideas applied in the mind as well as outward in mm, the world. Fuck. Right. It views uncertainty as the twin sibling of curiosity. The dead mind is constructed of terminating thoughts. There is no <laughs> feelings beyond a thin. <laughs> what? What? Come on! Son of a bitch ass fuck. <laughs> ah, shit. Get those five tapes back. Don't you worry.
bullets left, huh? Well, so much for that. We'll get a few off of this one. This is where we were before. Well, what the? What the fuck? Restricted magazine, huh? stairway up because apparently it's not in that room. You have seen the signs around you. The gradual creeping. Dysfunction, yada yada yada. And there's a girl who would be alive, the next one who's better off this fear to me. This question keeps me is it truly dead or is it me dead? I know it's stupid train for this person trying to get me, Henry. Alright, well. Henry's getting a little too paranoid for his own good, but hey, sometimes paranoia is important. You have realized that something is wrong with the media and the people around you. You know that you are different. This is why you are ready to become a receiver. You have been issued a series of audio cassette tapes that are part of our system for advancing insight. By continually listening to these tapes, you will drown out and eventually counteract the negative influences from your environment. Once you have absorbed these tapes, you will have taken the first step towards awakening your true self. The media is a threat. 
We have a technique to help. We use tapes as part of this technique. You must listen to them to advance. PowerPoint Dianas again. It's common knowledge that you get better results when you try, but like most common knowledge, this is wrong. Receivers oh, know there is an she... optimal level of effort. Too low and you might slack off. Um... <laughs> and you can start to choke under pressure. In the middle, hmm. you get the best results. Um... Well, the fuck was I supposed to do there? <laughs> Come on. Come the fuck on with that shit. I have to restart again? Yeah, I have to restart again. One more time for tonight, then. <laughs> Boy, that's annoying. <sighs> okay, come on. All right, a couple more good goes. Regardless of whether we get back to with sleep or not, I guess we're gonna have to tie it up soon. I mean, at a certain point, we're not even really interested in finding ammo. We just need to find the damn tapes. think that you know that's actually a good question let me pull up my memory monitor really quick and see if we can notice a pattern here pull up my video memory usage as well Okay, well, we've got both of them side by side now. We'll, we'll just keep a, a little side eye on it. So yeah, this feels like a, perhaps a known issue and or maybe something that we can resolve before next time.
of the voice things. Guess not. Oh. Well. Uh. That is a heart crash. Nice. Well. Something new. <laughs> Great. Fucking thanks, Receiver 2. I just want to play you. <laughs> just please let me play you. Oh, good gravy. Good gravy. That sure does like its video memory. Let's say that. System RAM, not so much, but video RAM, yeah, it's, it's taking its fair share. Mind kill is just out of memory all along. You know, that would be pretty fitting. Pretty fitting to the theme of the game, huh? Shit, I heard it. I heard it very briefly as I was chonking along here. There it is. You have seen the signs around you. The gradual the creeping gradual decay and dysfunction and memory leak. And dysfunction. <laughs> you have realized that something is wrong with the media and the people around you. You know that you are different. This is why you are ready to become a receiver. You have been issued a series of audio cassette tapes that are part of our system for advancing insight by continually listening to these tapes you will drown out and eventually counteract the negative influences from your environment once you have absorbed these tapes you will have taken the first step towards awakening your true self the media is a threat we have a technique to help we use tapes as part of this technique you must listen to them to advance. Must I Experiences are feelings connected okay, to events. So there's three, right? We if got an one event queued that up. creates negative feelings happens often enough, or is especially intense, it can create a phobic reaction. Even after distancing oneself from these events, these phobic elements can persist. Thoughts flow from one to the next, like water flowing down a river. And like water flowing, these thoughts can carve through stone, given enough time. Trauma is like a boulder in the river. And over time, a correct sequence of thoughts can cut and shape it, eventually allowing the thoughts to pass safely and smoothly around them. When confronting the, the threat... Mother... Where? Where? <laughs> Okay, 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 yeah, memory usage just jumped a little bit there. Not too much, though, like, not into questionable territory just yet.
To safely carry a powerful concealed weapon like the Detective Special, the first thing you have to do is forget everything you've ever seen in a movie. Pretty much everything they do is dangerous and incorrect. Um, for example, Fuck. movie badasses often carry guns tucked in. It's <laughs> gonna very cleverly walk across that uh, that beam there and go across. Well, oops. Okay, cool. <laughs> Glad their vision range is fucking forever. Uh, we might have to quit this before we get to the next rank. <laughs> or return to the rank we used to have rather more accurately. Single damn tape they're guarding, huh? Of course. Bonk. Bonk. Okay. I don't want me going through that one. There we go. That one, though. Perfectly fine. What I was trying to do before was walk across this thing. Okay. You can do that. You just gotta be not stupid. So this de-ranking thing seems like a lazy way of extending the game's longevity. Would Sam being too harsh? Uh, eh, I don't know. I think the jury's still out on that one for me. Like, obviously, it was my own damn fault that it happened. Like, I shot myself in the leg. Yeah, probably worth a de-rank. But the fact that it seems to be gating a whole lot of shit here Before is uh, and Robin, a little bit the most uh, famous dynamic duo was Smith and Wesson. A little bit less when agreeable. The master gunsmiths met in the 1850s. 
Daniel Wesson saw the older oh. Horace Smith as a potential mentor and father figure, uh, <laughs> convinced him to collaborate on his crazy idea of combining bullets, powder, and percussion caps into convenient metal cartridges. Smith was sold on the idea because it was no crazier than his inventions, which include explosive bullets designed to hunt whales. Now, Whale Sam hunting Cole bullets. held the patent Amazing. on the idea of a revolver, so they created a lever action alternative called the Volcanic Pistol, which later evolved into the Winchester repeating rifle. Boom. When Colt's revolver patent expired in 1857, Smith and Wesson were ready. And the correlates the ranking of the suicide. And and oh, 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 oh man. If any death deranks you, yeah, that's... Mm, that, I think, would be questionable design. Short was I think the idea that I off myself uh, is probably more palatable if that deranked me. Because, you know, as you get up in rank, you should have more experience, and you shouldn't be doing that stupid shit anymore, right? Like, I'm willing to accept that portion, but yeah, if it's any death that deranks you, then it would be a little bit more questionable. I guess we'll find out eventually. Eventually, leading to their most successful revolver, the Model Fucking three shots that time and didn't even... Oh my god. Okay, I don't know if I agree with what the hell happened. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. I'm at least going to assume at this point it was because I shot myself in the leg. Because it does feel like otherwise it would be exceedingly unfair. Fucking... Why did it... I didn't hear the little zippy zaps that told me I shot out the motor. stable. What even are the weak points here? If that was a fucking straight ass shot. Have seen the signs around the signs you. around you decay the dysfunction etc creeping decay dysfunction you have Great. I hit the motor that time when it's pointed straight at me with the media Great and the shot. people around you you know that you are different this is why you are ready to become a receiver you have been issued a series of audio cassette tapes that are part of our system for advancing Inside. By continually listening to these tapes, you will drown out and eventually counteract the negative influences from your environment. Once you have absorbed these tapes, you will have taken the first step towards awakening Sorry. your okay. true self. <laughs> the media is a threat. We have a technique to help. We use part of this technique. You must listen to them to advance. To aim a firearm correctly, you must be familiar with the sight picture, how the sights look when they are lined up correctly. 
Handgun sights almost always work in the same way. You line up the front sight in the middle of the gap in the rear sight and mm -hmm. make sure the top of the front sight is level with the top of the rear sight. Mm -hmm. If zeroed correctly, the bullet should hit right at the top of the front sight at the zero distance, um, usually around 15 yards. For maximum accuracy, you should focus on your front sight even though it makes the target look blurry. There's no point shooting at a crisp target if you can't tell if your sights are lined up. It's common knowledge that you get better results the harder you try, but like most common knowledge, this is wrong. Receivers know that there is an optimal level of effort. Too low and you might slack off. Too high and you can start to choke under pressure. Choke under pressure? In never. The middle, you get the best results. Never. That would never happen. Floor above or something? Okay, so if one wants to take a bit of skills, so da 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 I got turned around looking for that other one. Oh, whatever. What? What the? F oh crap! Fucking crap! One more attempt at this before we give up for the evening. I have a feeling we are running up against the PowerPoint mode soon here.
Gotcha. Pop the Chivo for it, too. What was that? Kill a robot through glass. Yeah, okay. Very good, then. Have seen the signs around you. Uh, creeping decay and dysfunction. Yeah, yeah, creeping yeah, we'll decay and dysfunction. Oh, second one there too. You have realized that something is wrong with the media and the people around you. You know that you are different. This is why you are ready to become a receiver. You have been issued a series of audio cassette tapes that are part of our system for advancing inside by continually listening to these tapes you will drown out and eventually counteract the negative influences from your environment once you have absorbed these tapes you will have taken the first step towards awakening your true self the media oh, is a fuck threat. we have a technique to help wrong goddamn button we use again. tapes as part of this technique you must listen to them to advance. It's common knowledge that some needs are a higher priority than others. People note that in order to pursue some, others must be fulfilled first. They frame the complex situation using a, a simple, unrealistic example. It's like how you can't be happy if you don't have air to breathe. <laughs> um, these simplifications are used to hide more complex truths. That the body sustains the mind, and the mind sustains the body. The most present needs are in the domain of the mind. Without baseline function of thought, you can oh, find yourself without right the there. will Good to job. move or eat. All right, Strength one more. Mind by developing focus Fucking one more. Don't resilience cock this up is now. The goal of a technique hey! We call ba -ba 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 -ba. While Colt won most of the U.S. military contracts, the Smith & Wesson Model 10 remained the weapon of choice for U.S. police forces nice. until the 70s, when they switched to... Now, do we just need to wait for these to cycle pistol. through, and then it'll be like, hey, congrats, you made it back to where you were before, US idiot. military contracts, including the Air Force, Coast Guard, and Navy. In World War II, air crews used the Model 10 revolver both for self-defense and for uh, emergency signaling with tracer rounds. In the 20s, Police were facing significant resistance by prohibition gangsters and found that the 38 long Colt round just wasn't strong enough. Smith and Wesson started rechambering their Model 10s for the slightly more powerful 38 Special cartridge, but the converted models were not quite right, and uh, fired cartridges had a tendency to get stuck from the increased pressure and slow down reloading. Cooper's fourth rule of gun safety is to know your target and what is beyond we'll just it. Just be careful. Bullets can penetrate don't need a to lot stand around and wait most people think. Just gotta um, how keep an eye on our surroundings so we don't get capped before this actually takes effect. Nine millimeter bullet will go through. One, uh, two, more like twenty. In a typical gunfight, more shots miss than hit, but all bullets end up. <laughs> Unless you live alone in a rural area, there is no pistol or rifle that won't put your family. Ooh, we'll even pick up an extra one just to be even safe. point rounds often miss or fail to expand. The safest choice for an effective internal home defense weapon in a populated area is a pump action shotgun loaded with a small buckshot or large birdshot. When performing at a peak condition, often the deciding factor is mental state. Fucking ideas have a form what the... and a weight. Really? When you become dedicated to an idea, it takes on a new dimension. It becomes denser, tougher to move intractable this tenacious Mother. stubbornness is required Shit. to become a receiver cool we did it <laughs> we got some other m10 achievement though cool we're asleep now <laughs> 
Good job. We did it. Fucking did it. All right. All right. Okay. So now we got the 1911 with us now this time. All right. We'll take one run through here and then call it. Four rounds, huh? <laughs> okay. I guess we'll see. If I don't, like, jump off a ledge or shoot myself in the leg this time, we'll see if we still take the D rank. My guess is we won't. Like, if I get capped by a turret or something, it should be fine. But, I guess we'll see. We'll see very sh soon, probably. Now they're trying to be more clever in uh, preventing me from getting to where I need to go. That door was closed. Ooh, so is that one. Mm. Okay, so now they want me to take more off the beaten path type stuff. Bust an ass through windows and shit like that. You think we're gonna derank regardless, huh? Well, I mean, honestly, neither of us really know. So I guess we're gonna do some science. obvious which spot it was in. Jeez. Tough, tough ass windows. Oh. <laughs> Together we have laid the foundation. Oh, finally a new one. Great potential. <laughs> But the potential is yet to be realized. We have sent the message. Can you hear it? I don't know. Are you talking about the there creeping, decaying dysfunction? I think we heard that one pretty loud and clear. Your media. Weakening the mind and causing widespread dysfunction. Oh, there's that word again. We call this the threat. We have developed a technique called mind tech to combat this threat. A new set of tapes has been issued to train and prepare you. Oh, shit. Jesus. The wrong button again. Ugh. Hit one. <laughs> and then escape to look at stuff. Alright, so which one do we just pick up? Here we go. No, I'm not alone. I am kind of an uh, the receivers. Yeah, alright. So Lewis is coming to understand that we're here for him, maybe. Ooh, okay. That one up there. Kind of curious when we're going to run into other things other than stationary turrets. Not that they haven't been effective in, in murdering us, but... 
be interesting to find some different enemies at some point. Cheeky fuckers, bring him under the turrets. Dealing with fear is a necessary skill to combat the threat. Through mind tech, you focus your mind's eye on your fear. <laughs> the fear is heavy, faceted, and black like obsidian. <laughs> All right, this easy fear there. It can be a Emo benefit, streak. or it can be a poison, but it can't be avoided. It must be dealt with. Mind Tech offers the tools to engage with this fear. Through Mind Tech, you change yourself to influence your environment to reduce the fear. Control of emotions comes from control of the situation. I'm not saying I like the other notch pillars too. Talk about encrypted messages. Keeping secrets, getting out on it. Well, no, I need to write coded messages on something we're doing is dishonest or wrong. Our, rec our receivers, deceivers. Ah, I get it. All right. Which results from control over ideas. You didn't see nothing. Oh fuck! <laughs> I just saw something. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know I was shot by a turret. Thank you. I saw it. No, why? Ah! Uh, what? Okay, all right, that's less, mm, that's less palatable. Fucking really? I mean, at least we keep the 1911 with us, but... Uh, doesn't feel good. Doesn't feel great. All right, well, we're going to call it there for tonight, <laughs> regardless. Regardless of what happened there, uh, we're going to call it there. Um... All right, well, good. Uh, and like, it's still a fun game. Like, Receiver Two is is, is fun. Uh, the weird PowerPoint FPS issues is uh, troublesome and annoying, but ultimately we're able to overcome it. Uh, this whole demotion thing kind of fucking sucks. Uh, but I guess we'll we'll find out with with further play how much of a problem that's going to be. Uh, but that'll do it for tonight. Uh, next stream is tomorrow night, 7.30 p.m. CST. Uh, Shmup Book Club. Uh, there's going to be a new shmup for March, uh, which we don't know yet. Uh, Parsec 47, I believe, is still on the table. Uh, as is... Um, shit, what's the other one? As is uh, Sanvine as well. Um, well. But we'll probably take the new monthly one tomorrow, uh, regardless of what it is. Uh, so that's 7.30 p.m. CST tomorrow. Uh, after that, Saturday... 
Uh, question mark PMCST is grab bag. We'll pick up something, or maybe we'll do another dev stream, or, or whatever. Like, yeah, we decided on the fly. That's what makes it grab bag. And then Sunday night, 7 p.m. CST. Uh, Sunday long plays. We'll be going back to Cross Code. They just released the new home DLC. I'm excited to get my hands on that. All right, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.